Living in Brooklyn is just as expensive as Manhattan these days, but what if I told you you can still find amazing cheap eats in this borough? Today, I'm gonna be sharing the best new cheap eats in Brooklyn. Hurry to these spots before they get too popular. Nene's Taqueria just opened up this past Saturday in Park Slope. Less than a week, and the Bushwick version opened in 2020, one of the most popular taco shops in the entire city. Park Slope is very lucky. Let's check out their famous birria tacos. So the story behind Nene's Taqueria started in 2020. I had recently come from Mexico after six months over there. And once I came back, I decided to open a small taqueria. It was basically focused on birria tacos and the rest was history. So over there, we got the vertical spin, the adobada, which is, uh, that's how it's known back in the water side. We have the grill for pollo asado, carne asada. Here's what the birria tacos are made. And we have our tortilleria. We made fresh tortillas by order. So oh, so they're all handmade here. Yeah, this all are handmade. Look at this, oh, this masterpiece of fine birria. Nene's Taqueria's famous Quesa Birria tacos. We have what could arguably be Brooklyn's best tacos in my hand right now. And there's nothing like dipping it in the consomme, that juicy beef, white cheese baked in, which you saw. My mouth is watering. Here we go. Mm. I'm just thankful that I live a few blocks from here. They're gonna be seeing my butt in this seat a lot over the next couple of months, wow. With the consomme, the spices of that first bite, nice crunchy shell of the birria, juicy, juicy meat, cheese is incredible. I don't know what else I can say about this, except I wanna eat more than I wanna talk, which is rare. As far as eating is concerned, just dipping your, your birria taco in the consomme, there are a few things more satisfying in this world for me. I want Mexican food. Mmm. See that cheese ball? Mmm. Every bite, it just keeps getting better and better. No salsa required. It's got more than enough juices already. I also got Mexican Coke here, which is becoming more and more common and easier to find in New York City, but still. Mmm. This taco knows how to put a smile on someone's face. Mm. <laughs> it's wet, it's juicy, and sometimes when you're hungry, that's all you need. I don't think they're gonna need my help promoting this place. Once word spreads that Nene's is here on 4th, come while you can. Come before there's a really big line. It may be too late by the time you see this video. This is DOP Pizza. They had their soft opening this past summer, and. They really blew up in popularity when Dave Portnoy gave them an 8.1 on his Barstool Pizza review show. But I was on to this spot before Barstool was here. I live very close by. I came here for my birthday this past year. That's how much I like DOP, but I want to show you firsthand. You know, for a new place, they have a really old school decor in here, which I love. Feels like it's been around forever. All right. Fresh out of the oven, look at that. DOP is a nice pandemic story because their owners started this inside of their apartment. They were one of the many pizza spots, other types of food coming out of Instagram, selling out, but they got this beautiful brick and mortar spot and the neighborhood has just rallied behind them and they've become so popular. We got the Nona Mana, which just came out fresh with sausage and shallots on top. So a little bit different than their typical Nona. It's just something they had for us. So this is finished with Sicilian oregano, fresh torn basil, 24 month aged Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. And that's one of my favorite cheeses on earth for pizza also on the Nona Maria slice at Bleecker Street Pizza, my personal favorite. All their pies here use four day fermented dough. So the attention to detail at DOP, extremely high. I've actually never had the Nona Mana before. Mm. You can taste that sausage, shallots right away. Parmigiano Reggiano cheese on top. It's like the perfect complement to this. 
Wow, this is a specialty slice. Something I'm noticing with a lot of the newer pizza spots in New York is they're elevating the game, trying to use the freshest possible ingredients, a lot of local variety here. You know, DOP is stepping things up. This is the new school pizza game in New York City, stepping up the ingredients, doing things a little bit differently than a lot of other spots. You know, I talked to the owner before and he told me that the location here years ago used to be an old mafia social club spot. That's right. So, <laughs> a lot of history here, I'm sure, but a new pizza spot in Park Slope, residents raving about this place. I've come here so many times already. I made sure to test it out a lot before I even put it on camera. And I've never been disappointed by any of their slices. As you just saw, life is too short to eat bad pizza. We've just released our pizza guide to New York and spoiler alert, DOP is on the list. Check it out. We've got 10 guides out, two of them absolutely for free. They've got interactive maps, audio notes, links to videos, my own personal commentary, the perfect complement to any trip to New York City. Link down below in the description. We've still got 50% off pricing. These guides are super useful. Park Soap's full of cafes. Milk and Honey is my new favorite. They just opened a few weeks ago. Their original is in Ditmas Park. This one has already made an impact. A cafe you can't miss when you're in this area. There's a lot of cafes in Brooklyn, a lot of cafes in Park Slope, but I think these guys hit a home run with the decor. Just something about the vibe here. It's so open and airy. And you got the tree practically growing in from the outside as you sit. It's like being in nature. I like it. They told me this is a $10,000 chair. Oh, this is very Lord of the Rings. All right, guys, fun fact. Did you know New Yorkers drink seven times more coffee than anybody else? Yeah, we drink this much. Cheers, Ben. Mm. I got a newborn at home. I need this. a nice cafe experience. I wanted something really fall-like. Got the pumpkin spice latte. Oh, this is way better than Starbucks. This is, this is good. Mm, croissant so soft. I mean, this is the kind of spot where I could see myself just hanging out, setting up with a laptop, a book, drinking my coffee, enjoying some nature. Interesting new spot in Park Slope. All right, because this Big Ben creme brulee French toast is so big, I'm gonna count this as our cheap eats because me and Ben are gonna be splitting this. This is a good spot to come to for brunch as well. Oh, wow. I love all the powdered sugar around. Mm. I'm not sure if it's brunch, I'm not sure if it's dessert, but I like it. Big Ben French Toast. We've got Big Ben right here. <laughs> it's named after you. All right. There you go. Do I look like I live in Brooklyn? I don't know about Park Slope, maybe Bushwick. <laughs> mm. Oh, wow. It's like an explosion of sweetness in your mouth. Just can't get enough of it. It's just too bougie for my taste buds. It's like, I like it a lot. I just can't describe it. The creme brulee French Toast goes perfectly well with their coffee. I love the coffee a lot, but this is one of the best breakfast dishes I have had in a really long time. Did you know that Brooklyn has the best pizza in New York City? In this video right here, we visit some of the best spots in the borough with a pizza expert, one of my favorite videos of the year. Give it a go.